This is Angel Oakley, and I'm here in Glencoe, and we're at the um, home that was certified LEED Platinum by um, architect Nathan Kipnis, and he's here with me to talk a little bit about this home. So what, um, what are the main features in this home that make it LEED? A lot There's of features, a lot, right? But the main thing is the shape of the house. And what we wanted to do is take as much passive strategies as we could and integrate them into the design, into the actual form of the house. So um, because the south-facing lot is so narrow, we made it into two houses, basically. And the space in between became a green roof on the second floor. And that we can and, see up there. Yeah, and it's right up there. And those angles of the roof are not symmetrical, and they catch more water to go onto the green roof and then into the rain barrels flanking it and into the rain garden. Um, those angles also let us do different things with the PV and solar thermal panels. So the PV panels are laid back to get the high summer sun. The solar thermals are set steeper on the backside to be uh, optimized for the winter. Oh, okay, so they're not actually moving. They they're just stay moving, stationary. They're set and at the best angles for the entire year. Nice. The house was also panelized. It was built in Wisconsin and shipped over here and then put up uh, relatively quickly. Um, very high uh, R values all the way around. Real tight construction. So they were prefabbed panels. Uh, for we the call side? it panelized because panelized. they were flat panels. They didn't have any of the conduit in it or anything like that. Okay. And what is that material made of? Um, the, the panels were made of 2 by 6s at 19.2 inches on center, and the exterior sheathing was a Dow product called SIS, uh, Structural Insulated Panel. So it's an insulated panel on the outside in addition to the closed cell foam inside the cavity. Okay. Very nice. And I did see the garden uh, in the back. It is absolutely Natalie amazing. Did a great job with that. <laughs> yeah. Very envious. <laughs> Wish I could do that. Now, when did you complete this home? About two years now. Okay. And they are using um, solar heating for the water heater. Is and partially helping heat the radiant floor on the basement and first floor with that. Where did you um, acquire this metal roof and what's the advantage of it being this color? <clears throat> it's a Peterson metal roof. Peterson is a Chicago company, so it's local. Nice, it's local. It's recycled material. It's recycled steel. Um, it is specifically picked for its high reflectivity. Um, one of the advantages is the roof angles are such that the sun coming off that angle you see over the uh, green roof will actually bounce and hit onto the solar panels in the middle of the year, kind of giving them a little extra charge. Um, the color was picked because it's the most reflective color, so it keeps the roof the coolest. Okay, and that green roof is right in between the master bedroom. And the other bedrooms. And, and the, the other bed. bedrooms on the other so. side. Very nice location. Now, what were you saying about another project that you're um, working we're doing, on? Was... We're just finishing up a project for a house for the couple that owns Uncommon Ground Restaurant. Uh, those restaurants are the greenest in America. And so their house had to be really good, too. It's a net plus zero. I don't know if I made that term up or not. But we're going to produce so much electricity on an annual basis that will do not only the house, but be able to charge up both of their LEAF cars, I think, for 10 to 12 miles of use a day, which should do them just fine. And how are they setting up the solar? Is it going to battery? Is it it's just going, feeding back into the system? It's going back grid-fed just like this is. But their garage, a detached garage in Chicago, is all one slope, and the entire thing is loaded with panels. 6.2 wow. kilowatt. This is 2.6. So just tremendously more, plus a smaller house, two people living there instead of four. So a lot easier to put that out. Okay, and when can we expect that to be completed? It's going to be thinking. completed next week. So oh, be wow. There will be an invite-only party at some point very <laughs> soon, and it will maybe be on the tour next year. That's our goal. So. Well, congratulations. That's awesome.